Here's your five things to know about the weather this week. Number five will probably get people a little agitated in the comments. Number one, the storm names have been released. Are you on the list? We start a new list of storm names every September, and here it is. The next storm we name will be called Amy, and the one after that will be Bram. For a full list of all the storms and why we name storms, see our previous post. Two, rain. After an exceptionally dry year so far, some will be pretty happy about the rain that's coming this week, and there will be a fair bit of it. Low pressure systems will be the reason why. They'll be zipping across the country, bringing spells of heavy rain and fairly frequent showers too. Now, there will be some sunshine between the downpours, but uh, expect to need your waterproofs this week. And if you're starting school on Wednesday morning, especially in the south, well, be prepared for a very wet start to the year. Three, windy. Near the showers, we can expect some strong gusts of wind, and the winds look like getting particularly lively on Wednesday along the south coast. Four, the northern lights may well be visible tonight, Monday, and perhaps Tuesday night too. There's been a coronal mass ejection. That's where the sun spews out particles, and if they hit the top of our atmosphere, well, they can cause the aurora, the northern lights. So, Look north tonight if you have clear skies and once it's got fully dark, and you might just catch a glimpse. Northern areas have the best chance, but there is a possibility across the Midlands, Wales, and maybe even further south too. Five, summer is over. The 1st of September is the first day of autumn for us. Look, you can measure the seasons however you want to. Lots of people say it's summer until the autumn equinox, which this year is on the 22nd of September. But we split the seasons into three whole month chunks. So summer is June, July and August, and autumn is September, October and November. Now that meteorological summer is officially over, we can officially say it's been the warmest summer on record. Our records going back to the 1800s.